As we're gathered here today in the presence of God to join this man Brody Neil Bodway and this woman Brooke Danielle Hoffman in a Christian marriage which is instituted by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and held in honor among men, all men. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for welfare of mankind and His glory. <laughs> Marriage is an institution of divine appointment. It's an appointment step in the life outside of a commitment of Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord and should not be entered into, therefore, unadvisedly or lightly, and, but discreetly and soberly. God has instructed in Genesis 2.24 and again Matthew 19.5 that a man shall leave his father and mother and leave his wife. Brody and Brooke have placed their faith in Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and they have established a relationship with each other and God. Today they come desiring to be united together in a Christian marriage for the remaining days on the earth. Let us acknowledge this place in the, in the ceremony and seek his blessing in union. The exchange of the rings, first first, is a physical expression, a reminder of the couple's promise of faithfulness to each other. The unending circle of the ring is a symbol of eternity. The wedding ring is an outward expression of the inward bond as two hearts unite as one, promising to love each other with fidelity and for all eternity. I, Brody, take you, Brooke, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health. Brooke, I love you. You are my best friend. Today, I give myself to you to be your servant leader. I desire to be the spiritual leader of our home and lead our family in knowing and understanding God. I promise to put you before any of my projects, no matter how awesome they may be. I will always remember that you are the reason I strive to be a better man. I promise to let you drive the Jeep more on our off-road runs, no matter how hard it is for me to sit in the passenger seat. And lastly, I promise to give you more quality time and love than I give my projects as you is my greatest passion. I promise to do this for as long as we both shall live. Brody, when I swiped right on Tinder, I never imagined that I would end up meeting the love of my life. The night we went on our first date at Chewy's, I knew there was something different about you. I fell for you instantly. I'm so blessed that God brought you into my life. Even though I can be indecisive, choosing you was the easiest decision. I vow to always love you unconditionally and to be by your side not only in good times but also in the trying times. I vow to love you even when we are old and you are still spending most of your time on the Jeep because we all know that is a project that will never end. <laughs> I will be your biggest supporter in all that you do. I vow to always do my best and give more than I take and not keep score. And lastly, I vow to always be the best wife, mother, and dog mom I can. I can't wait to start the rest of our lives together. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. I pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. I'm up all night just to hear a story when I'm with her. There's no hurry holding on to every word she says. Do anything just to see us 
smile, sip rose, watch grace for a while. Try some things I never thought I would. But that's just what you do when you're in love. When you're in Just what you give me. 